Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and the notification bell where you'll see more great videos like this. This is what we're doing today, our bathroom scene, but we're going to start from scratch because I didn't actually record this one. So let's click on new um, and general. Right, so first off we're going to start with uh, switching on, although I did switch this on, the screen keys, it was on. Okay, so first of all, let's create the floor. So we're going to create a plane, we're going to have a 5 by 5, okay. Now we're going to add in a, a cube, we're going to make that on the X 0 0.3 and then on the Y we want to make it 5 just so it's as nice as long as the rest of it okay then we're going to shift D on the X so we can duplicate that over there we're going to shift D R Z 90 so then we've got to duplicate and we're just going to move it across there shift D on the Y and bring it over there next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this because this will actually be the ceiling so shift D on the Z um, we're just going to move this out of the way and then what we need is another cube um, we're going to go for like 0 0.5 and then on the Z, 0 0.75. Um, because we're going to go for an oblong window rather than the square window that I had in there, just for a bit of a change. So we're going to chuck it in there and have it over here. This is where the window is going to be. Let's just zoom in there or around that sort of area. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to add another cube and we're going to again make that that size on the x there we're going to make it about 1.75 and on the y 0 0.6 and then on here we're going to have 0 0.025 yeah there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a bevel all round so we're going to control B. Oh, I know what we forgot to do, and that was Control A to reset all transforms. Then Control B, and yeah, we can give it a bevel. Go into settings here, and then up the segments to that many. Three, four. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, because this is the table top, we are going to set origin to geometry and then we can just shift it over here and what we'll do is we'll mess around with that later just in case it's not to the correct height now we're going to add in what we're going to add in now we're going to add in some legs so we're going to add in a cylinder and then we're going to have like 0 0.05 maybe we're just gonna have a look at this see what's around and we're gonna have it one meter high um, so we're just gonna take this over there like so too far and then up like there so maybe just a little bit 0 0.75 maybe but we will have to have a look First of all, I'm going to save this because every time I don't save it, um, it crashes on me. And then I've got to start all over again. And I'm not going to do that on this one. Okay, save. There we go. So that's now saved. Okay, now I'm quite happy. Is that a nice height? No, I think we'll go with 0.8. That looks like a nice height, so we're just going to shift that over there a little bit more. And that way to the corner. And then we're going to duplicate Shift D on the Y. And then select both of those, Shift D on the X, bring them over. 
Now we're going to duplicate one of them. Any of them will do. Shift D on the Y. Then we're going to rotate on the Y, 90. We're going to make that a little bit smaller, 0.025. 0.025. So this is going to be the bar where we hang the rail. Then we're going to make it 1.7, maybe. Um, kind of like that. Um, what do we make this? 1.75. So we'll leave it at 1.7. Um, then we're going to take this. We're going to duplicate the Shift D on the Z. And then we're just going to make that um smaller like there and this is what's going to be this is what's going to hold that rail in place like so let's just bring that forward and then let's just bring that up and out a bit okay and then we need to duplicate the rail Shift D on the X and bring it right on over, like so. Maybe we should bring that out a little bit because our towel has got to fit in there at some point. So we we'll just bring those two out that one and that one, bring out like that. Okay, and now I'm happy with that. We will um, duplicate Shift D on the Z. Rotate Z90. We're just going to make it a little bit wider. Uh, Say so 0 0.75. 0 0.075. And then this is going to hold the wooden beams in place. The slats, if you like. And I'm just going to make that a bit bigger there. I'm just going to say 1. Point Eight, and then bring it on across just so it fits in the center and just a little bit up there and then we're going to shift D on that shift D on the Y and bring it across so that's on there and uh, what we need to do now is just make the slats come all the way down here so we're going to take this shift D R Z 90 and we're just going to, how wide is this? 0.6. So we're going to make this on the Y 0.6. Just see if that fits OK. And then just bring it across. And everything is tickety boo by the looks of it. Um, and what we can do is. <coughs> We can actually do an array, um, but we need it 1.0.5, 1 1 no, 1.1 1 .1 maybe, 1.25. And then we are going to put in as many as we can across here. There we go, it nicely fits in there like that. Okay. Now we're cool with that. Now let's chuck in a. Oh, should we just do the window? Let's just make that wee bit smaller, manageable. And then we're going to select the wall. We're going to add a modifier, which is the boolean. And then we're going to select the box there. And I'm just going to apply um, that. And then what we can do is use this as the um, window frame. We're just going to bring it forward a little bit. Um, I'm going to control A and reset again because I want to edit and hit to number three for faces. Select both faces and then we're going to I to inset about there and then we're going to right click and bridge faces so that is that oh, I'll tell you what we could have done let's undo that in a minute and undo that and um, we're going to shift D on the Y shift D on the Y 
Ah, oh, don't want to do that. Now we do Shift D on the Y. Um, now on here, we go back into Edit, select the faces, I to inset, right click and bridge faces. Now this is going to be the so this is the frame, and then this is what the window will be going into. We're just going to reset the origin. Now what we need to do is just scale that down to about here. Um, and then bring it forward like this. So this is going to be the framework, if you like. Well, no, it's not if you like, it is going to be the framework. So we're just going to have a, um, an overlap there. And then on here, we're going to click the edit face and face. And then we want to inset there. And this one here, we just want to extrude on the Y. So it comes in there like so. And then on the outside here, and there we need to inset. And then we can um, w, uh, right click bridge of faces. So that's like our window. And then we can add in a plane. Um, let's just uh, uh, the, the shift A, we need a plane and just scale that down rotate on the x90 and we're just going to bring that into position there uh, like so just like a window will be um, so let's just make that a tad bit bigger so it fits in the frame like that and then a tad bit smaller like that so that's the window done so I'm happy with that we've got a nice little window ledge there right the what are we doing now let's do a, another cube we're going to do the basin now uh, let's do that I'm going to scale that down and in just bring it up so it sits on the top there. <coughs> bring it across. Maybe there. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Um, and again, Control A. We're going to now go into Edit, select that top face, Inset. Um, we're just going to hit number two and hit that face, that edge, and then we're just going to bring it in a little bit further, like so. And then number three, and we're going to hit this face and extrude it on the Z, bring it down, like so. And then these two edges, so hit number two, this one and this one, and then we're going to do Control B to bevel. So it gives us a nice little slope in there. Um, and also what we're gonna do is just select the outside and these edges here. Oh, and these ones on the corners. And then what we're gonna do is also give that a little bevel. So it's a nice little rounded sink. Like so, and just right click and shade smooth over here into um, normals and then just auto smooth and there we go there's our sync nicely nicely done 